Hi everyone, I'm Zach with the YMCA and today I'm going to show you an experiment that hopefully you can do at home if you have the supplies. We have done this experiment at the Y before and it is a lot of fun. Alright, so what you are going to need before you get started, you're going to need some dish soap, some hydrogen peroxide. A lot of people have this in their medicine cabinet. You can ask your parents. I am sure you can find some. All right, and over here, and then you're gonna need some yeast, all right? And last but not least, some food coloring, all right? So, what you are going to do, all right? You are going to take your hydrogen peroxide and you're gonna measure out a whole cup of it. I have this lovely little measuring cup right here. See, I've already filled it up for us, all right? So you're gonna measure out your whole cup of hydrogen peroxide. After you've measured that out, you're gonna find your bottle. I've got a really big bottle here. You can do this with a normal, just a plastic water bottle. You can do it with any small container, all right? I'm gonna pour all of this into my bottle here. Be very careful you don't spill it. All right, after I've poured that in, I'm gonna take my dish soap and you're just gonna give it a big squirt into your bottle, all right? After that happens, I am gonna just mix it up real quick, make sure it gets all spread out in there. Wonderful. And the very last thing you're gonna do with this part right now is we are gonna take out some food coloring. I picked out blue because that is the best color. All right, and we are gonna drop in however much you want. There it is. Now, we're gonna set that aside for just a second. And we're gonna move over here. So, right now what's gonna happen next is you're gonna need a tablespoon to measure out what we're gonna do next. First, you're gonna need your yeast. And we are gonna put in two tablespoons of yeast into this cup right here. So, measure it out. I'm gonna dump one in there, and then make sure you get it all out. And we're gonna go with tablespoon number two, if I can find my opening. If I can find my opening. <laughs> All right. So we've got two full tablespoons in our cup. Now, what's going to happen next is we are going to get some warm water. All right. It doesn't have to be super hot, but it works best if it's a little warm. And we're going to measure out six tablespoons. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now after we put those six tablespoons in, we're gonna stir this up a little bit too. Make sure you get it all spread out. You shouldn't see any big clumps in there. It's gonna be a kind of gross looking brown here when we're all done. All right, after that happens, you are ready to combine our two lovely little mixtures here. All right, after you put it in, you're gonna to need to step back quickly because I don't want anyone to get their clothes covered in this. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna pour this straight in the top. And we're gonna hopefully, oh, see, there it goes. It's starting to come up. Slow. Slowly, it's gonna make it all the way. And whoop, there it is. Okay. Now, if you do not have uh, enough hydrogen peroxide or yeast, you can still do this experiment with smaller amounts. Just make sure you use the same ratio. So, if you only had enough for one tablespoon of yeast, 
you would only do a half a cup of hydrogen peroxide, and so on for everything else. Once again, thank you very much. This is the YMCA, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.